So hello everyone and welcome back to Designing Your Island Part 2. So today we're going to get into some tips for figuring out what to do with all this space. And this will all be mine? Everything. Pew! And I find one of the easiest ways to begin with all of this is, oh, ex oh excuse me. Okay, so a good place to start is by looking through your furniture. So the reason I like to start here is because I think this is a great way of kind of getting just some easy inspiration. So for example, I recently picked up this flag thing and between this and this spiky fence, I was like, I think I could make a really cool moat, like defensive island, just ready to attack, like make all the villagers farmers and like surround everything by water and multiple, you know, like, you know what I mean? Just like straight up age vampires this game. Like if you want to see that island, let me know. <laughs> anyway. If you want a slightly less destructive theme, you know, just by going through everything that you have, if you already have a lot of bamboo DIYs and furniture from spring, maybe you could center your island around that. You know, as we're approaching summer and are getting more tropical and summery feeling furniture, I know that I have been considering just like as soon as this island tour is up, I'm just gonna redo everything and make it a tropical theme. And you know, there are endless ideas with this, which I think is obviously a great thing, but I also think that's a lot of the time what ends up making people feel overwhelmed, which is why I would start by taking a Deep breath and then just going through what you already have and I've talked about this before in a recent video but if you're going through your catalog like I don't really have that much stuff that goes together it's more just like a bunch of random stuff remember like a really easy way to mix and match furniture is just by customizing things to be the same color so you can already kind of work with what you have but once you kind of have an idea of what furniture you have available the first step that I would do in designing your island is pick a theme so I've seen some really amazing like purely city island tours floating around Personally, I really want to make a Paris or like Italian themed one that is inspired by this tiling that I found on Reddit, which I used in my last video. You know, maybe if you're in the Southern hemisphere right now, a nice woodsy fall mushroom nature feel would be good. Again, there are endless ideas for this. So if you don't have anything that is specifically calling itself out to you, I would just go with your theme is gonna be a big mishmash of stuff. But by this point, you should have a decent idea of what items you have available and also what your theme is. So now it's time to start sketching out the placement for things. So I recommend physically doing this, like either with this handy designer map, someone much smarter than me made, which I will have linked down below, or literally just with a piece of paper and a pencil. I know a lot of you in this community are excellent drawers. You got cute little bullet journals. I would love to see it, but I cannot draw for my life. So we're gonna Photoshop this. So to begin, I would draw out a blank map. So what you wanna have on this is where your airport is, where your resident services is, where your river exits are, along with your beaches and rocks, because these are all things that you cannot change. So just come up with a blank map. And as we go into this, don't think about terraforming. Don't think about details. Right now, we're just coming up with loose placements for things so that we can put together kind of like a plan. But once you have your blank map, you're gonna start with all the places that you know you're gonna have to have on your island. So this would be no cranny, the Able Sisters, the campsite, the museum, your house, and 10 villagers' homes. And to start with placing things, personally, I really like to start with where the shop and the Able Sisters is going to be. So maybe you want them near each other to make kind of a little shopping area, or maybe you want them with the resident services for a full like city-esque kind of feel. Or maybe you want these right on the beachfront so that you can kind of give off like a cute boutique, like beachy kind of vibe. Again, endless options here. So I would just pick whatever makes the most sense with your theme or just like come to terms with the fact that you're like, okay, this is going here for now. And that is just like, you know, call it a shopping area and we will figure out the details later. Next, we're going to establish where the villagers' homes are going to go. And an important thing to consider here is how much space you want in between everyone's home. Because if you don't consider this, this can take up a lot of space very quickly and that might not be something that you want. But you also could make these much closer together, giving you a lot more space on the rest of your island to do other things with. So first thing I would do is establish how close you want these to be. Secondly, I would decide if you would like to spread these out for kind of like a more neighborhoody feel like maybe all of your peppy and like snooty islanders live near the shopping area and then some of your more normal ones live in just like in a different neighborhood and maybe you have like the one grumpy guy up in the corner who's a farmer you know again there are options for this personally i did end up initially starting with something like that and then i actually had to move everyone to be in more of like a residential one neighborhood kind of an area finally i would decide on your museum and your campsite and to help make this decision i would really again just go back to what your theme is personally i 
I had my campsite in like a lot of woods areas initially when I made like some little hiking trails to get up there with the terraforming. But because of some recent changes, I actually ended up putting it on the beach, which I'm just pointing out here because if you didn't know, you can place like homes and smaller things like the campsite on the beachfront just to make, you know, use of all the space that you have if that is something that you're interested in. So don't worry about it. Remember, it's just part of the game. It's all okay. But now that we have the area sketched out, now is when we can get into a little bit more details of connecting all the pieces. So I have a list here of a bunch of mini area ideas that you can make, really just depending on what kind of furniture you have or what you're willing to spend time finding and building towards. But a lot of these spaces could be much larger and take up a lot more room, or you could make them a lot smaller. But I would just use these ideas to again, kind of sketch out areas that you might want to include these. So if you do have a shopping area, maybe you want to include a nice little plaza over here or a cute little coffee shop. Again, I would just go through this list and obviously add in any ideas that you also have and then just sort of place these around your island. And again, we're not worrying about how we're gonna connect these. We're not worrying about actually developing any of these. Really all we're doing at this point is just coming up with a plan and kind of a loose map so that you don't end up going into extreme debt with Tom Nook by moving everything around all the time. So don't get bogged down in the details here. I am gonna be going over the details and terraforming and how you can actually start tying everything together in the next video. But I guess for like your Animal Crossing homework, if you will, is just put together, again, this can be on a really crappy piece of paper. It does not matter. You're the only one that's gonna see it, but just put together a loose plan of where you think everything is going to end up because by the end of this, everything will feel a little bit more manageable and a little bit more broken down and you can start working on areas piece by piece. So I hope you're excited. I hope you're all loving your islands, even if you think they're ugly. Like I promise you, you know, my mom thought I was ugly when I came out, but now look at me. This is my dream. So it's okay, it's all just a work in progress. So thank you all so much for watching. I will have more speed builds and tours and part three of this coming soon. I appreciate every single one of you. Leave me any questions that you have below or things that you would like me to cover in the next video and I will see you all in the next one.